With summer in full swing, mm -hmm. I want to show you the fastest and easiest way to release your favorite aromas into the air using rediffusers. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Aurora with Dawn to Dust Designs and I'm here to share interior design and home decor insights. Okay, so you want to open the lid of course and remove all the items. You've got these reeds. So in case you're wondering, I actually picked this up from Rite Aid and it was only $11.99. I don't know if Rite Aid still has these or at least this specific scent, which is raspberry and geranium. I can already smell it. It smells so good. And one thing I want to point out is that I've had this in my office before on a couple occasions and I always got so many compliments because it just smells so amazing. And the beauty of these oil diffusers is that you can have them anywhere. It doesn't require any type of matches or electricity, especially with this heat. I know a lot of you guys out there probably love scented candles as much as I do, but come on, we're not gonna light a candle during this crazy heat, at least I wouldn't. Okay, so what I'm doing is removing the reeds. Unscrew it and remove this plastic top. Oh, I already smell it. it smells so good. So now that we've removed all the items, you want to screw in the lid just like so. And you want to get your reed diffusers and stick them inside just like so. And then you just let it display there. And the purpose behind this is that if you take a look at the reeds, inside the oil. These reeds are gonna absorb the oil, okay? And I'm gonna let it sit here for 24 hours. Okay, welcome back, friends. It's already been 24 hours since I placed the reeds inside the diffuser. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the botanical reeds around and place the opposite sides inside the bottle for more fragrance. So as you can see, I'm doing it gently so that the oil doesn't spill. And I don't know if you can tell, but this part here is a lot lighter than up here because it already absorbed that oil, okay? So we're gonna come back again in 24 hours so that we can reverse it. But just so you guys know, you have to allow 48 hours for the fragrance to fully develop. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> And then also, just in case you're wondering what scent or aroma uh, does this rediffuser create? Well, it's um, a juicy raspberry essence with merges seamlessly with geranium. And I can already smell it. It smells so amazing. So I'm excited for tomorrow. It's been 48 hours since we rotated the reeds. And I just want to go ahead and reverse them again so that you can see how penetrated and absorbed they are. You see that? Just be careful so you don't drip any oil. So I can tell you that it hadn't been 48 hours and this thing smelled amazing. Like I was already able to have that aroma in the entire bedroom and I really, really enjoyed that. So now that it's been exactly 48 hours, the aroma is going to be more potent and we'll be able to smell it a lot better. And I'm super excited to continue using this. One recommendation I have is to ensure that you reverse these reeds every few days. I mean, I don't think there's like an exact formula for this, but I've done this in the past where I would do it like every three or five days or even once a week. You don't have to do it that often. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you use any reed diffusers, please let me know in the comments below what brands do you use and what scents. Do you enjoy the most? Today's Spanish word of the day is aceite, which means oil. So repeat after me, aceite. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Today's Spanish word of the day is, what should it be? <laughs> Today's Spanish word of the day is oil. <laughs>
<laughs> That's English, duh.